I mean, prostate cancer is one of the most common types of cancers, and it is the second leading cause of death um, after lung cancer in men in this country. Uh, Dr. Beal, what causes prostate cancer? Well, uh, changes in the DNA uh, of, of prostate cells are what cause uh, cancer in prostate cells. Um, they cause, and these changes lead to the cells growing and dividing more rapidly or not dying off fast enough. And there are a variety of factors that contribute to, uh, to some of this, some of which we know about and some of which we don't. Um, and what are the risk factors? So uh, the risk factors, again, you know, like uh, Dr. Oppenheim just said, uh, some we can change, some we can't. Uh, one risk factor is older age. Uh, men over 50 are at a higher risk of developing prostate cancer. Uh, race, again, comes into this, and black men are at higher risk of developing prostate cancer and also having worse outcomes even with the same treatments uh, as other people. Uh, family history, uh, men who have a, a family history of other, other men in their family having prostate cancer or even having a, a significant history of uh, multiple women in their family having breast cancer. Certain genetic changes like BRCA1 and BRCA2 changes can, can increase the risk of that. And then obesity uh, seems to increase the risk for prostate cancer and certainly has an effect on how patients do uh, with their treatment for prostate cancer. The patients don't, don't seem to do as well if they, if they suffer from obesity. What are the signs and symptoms of uh, prostate cancer? Well, sure. So the, first of all, you know, for an early stage prostate cancer, uh, generally patients present with no symptoms related to the prostate. Um, for later disease, they can have trouble urinating, like Dr. Oppenheim mentioned, with BPH, uh, difficult, difficulty getting started with their stream or having a weak stream, um, blood in the urine or in the semen when they ejaculate, erectile dysfunction, uh, bone pain and weight loss for people with very advanced disease. Bone pain where? Is there a general area for that? Uh I mean, if it's advanced cancer, right? I mean, because yeah, so I know we'll be discussing that in a little bit. But. Yeah, what we're talking about here are patients who have cancer, prostate cancer that's metastasized through their bones. Uh, so it could be anywhere in the body. The most common sites for metastases uh, are where there are more bones, uh, such as the spine, uh, the, the pelvis. Uh, other areas are, are uh, just as likely to have a metastasis, uh, but they're smaller bones in general.